Before getting started, I was trying to use a microchip studio and access to ASF for building a project. And then we can see from here, I'm using the SMD21. Type in SMD21. Yep, this is the one. SMD21 Explain to Evolution Kit is the one I'm using for the most. Okay, the reason why I use the SMD21 is I want to get started with BASIC, Microchip Studio, and SMD21 is the good to go. Microchip Studio for AVR and SAM devices. So you can go ahead and download Microchip Studio. So in order to get into the ASF, so what we have to do is file new project. We press the project, then we can see the GCC C ASF port project. So I will be saving on my SMD21 J18A Bling LED. So we can maybe the same here. So we choose SM. So they have two which user bot template or SMD21 Explain Pro. So we will choose the SMD21 Explain Pro because they already microchip has it make it easy for us to use the all the definition. Use the user bot template that will be start from the scratch. So we have to define everything like LDD or anything in the scratch. So you can see this is the ASF framework header file in the asf we have tons of uh header file going on which is compiler bot interrupt port and clock general clock system pin multiplexer system interrupt and the code first thing is they have this mechanical button you can press uh, sorry basically a push button you can press then it will turn on the led on and off based on the push button then you can see here is the system initialize and we have a port pin get input level basically this is the input push button as input to the button is high pull to high zero is where it's located we can go to the implementation so basically it's the sw0 underscore pin so this is where it's located so basically it is from pin pa15 if you see in the smd 21 j18a they have the pin definition which we're using pin a if we're using the user template, they doesn't have the definitions that we have to define ourselves based on the hardware itself. What we provide basically for pin PA15 came for the pin PA15 right here. So we're going to high when we press the button, when we lose the button, it will be goes to the low state here. So we can see the LED, it is where it is located. So we located on pin PB13. So the onboard LED, which is located on a pin. PB13. So for the further information, actually you go can go to the SMD21 Explain Pro evaluation kit. They have the primary user guide you can on it there. This will be take us to the documentation of the how do we get started with the SMD21 J18. Or we can go ahead and read along this documentation which provided which pin is belongs to which one. Okay. Before you do the build things, the large data visualization okay make sure it connect to the board itself so connecting you will be linking some led on board and then once it connected to the SMD21 explain pro then we can go and debug and break right now when i'm pressing the button it will be turned on the led and off the led okay okay so after this video i will be making more video about uh might be related to microchip and microchip studio framework asf framework basically more on uh, different kinds of uh, protocols uart and spi spc and much more then we have a drive we try to dive deep to the asf framework as well hope you learn something from this video or maybe get starting started or get to know how is a microchip studio and how's microchip work in asf framework thank you so much for watching see you guys next